Hey, it's Tank Wesker Mike, and uh, I am sweating. It's Saturday. Uh, it's like 100% humidity, and it's going to start raining at any moment. At least that's what they're saying. But I wanted to show you, I've been playing around with an antenna, and I kind of pieced together an antenna instead of buying a kit. There was a couple of antennas that I was looking at, but none of them seemed to fit my exact needs, and I already had... The whip, I bought this 17 foot whip, which I showed in another video that I've been playing with from Wolf River Coil. It's their new, their new whip, which is double crimped and um, it collapses shorter. So then I needed a way, I was using a spike, but I wanted some way to stand it up. And I was looking at little mini tripods, but you can't just plug the antenna into the tripod you have to have some type of adapter to connect and different people make them and they have some of them have little nuts on them and everything else to like put your uh, radiating wires on I didn't want to mess with anything that had screws nuts or anything like that um, there was a couple of other designs that had banana plugs but you had to buy the whole antenna and everything else so radioactive antennas has an antenna they call the big stick and basically that's what it is it's a big whip on a little tripod um, although that i don't think they include the tripod so i bought just the big stick adapter which is actually pretty nice let me show you so this is the big stick adapter i have my antenna screwed on the top this is made out of delrin there's this nice copper center, uh, this copper piece in the center. It looks like copper. It might be aluminum. Um, down here, there's room to plug in your radiating wires with banana plugs. And I had these banana plugs already. Uh, you can get it with BNC or SN2, SO239. I got mine with BNC because I use BNC in the field all the time. And this little tripod I got from Amazon. It's uh, made by newer. If you no action cameras and stuff like that and anything to do with cameras and stuff newer makes a lot of stuff for cameras and their stuff is pretty good to be honest and so i saw this tripod and i and i got this tripod as well actually i didn't extend that one leg the whole way So that's how far the legs come out, and it's really stable. Like it really, like you, it would take a, a I think, a, a tremendous amount of wind to get this to fall over. But um, I had real heavy 14 gauge wire, but I got this silicone wire off of Amazon. Somebody recommended it for antennas, and I tried it, and I don't like it. It's kind of not sticky. It's a silicone jacket, so it's real flexible, which makes it really nice for radial wires because it stretches out. The other wire I had had like a PVC coating, and it had memory. This doesn't seem to have any memory, which is nice, but it's kind of brittle. You can snap it pretty easy. Uh, luckily, these banana, banana connectors I use are screw-on. You just push the wire through it and screw it on. It pinches down, clamps down on the wire. So if I break the wire, I could always uh, put it on again. But I just tuned this, and I'm actually down like a section and a quarter of the antenna. The antenna is 17 feet long, and I'm down a section and a quarter of the antenna. Now I'm in my driveway, so, you know, things change. Oop, I got to get the antenna down. It just started raining. Oh, it's coming. Got my glass in here.
Well, I was going to show you on the analyzer, and at least I have it saved. So the range, I have this set to a 14, 285 center. And the range is 223 megahertz. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get a good angle. But that is like flat across the band under 1.2 to 1. So I'm happy with the tune on this antenna and I have used it a couple of times and it's been great so far. Um, but what I like too is once I take the whip off doo -doo -doo, there's the tripod with the radioactive antenna's big stick folded up in the middle. And that's it. Now this is heavy. This is not light. Um, it's, a, it's a heavy tripod. Like that here. Um, but I like this little setup. And like I said, the legs are a little sticky. Um, like that one didn't want to come out. I do have to futz with it. But I think maybe, just, maybe it's just because it's new. But this one, yeah, this leg... Sometimes it goes in at real easy. There it goes. Yeah, it seems to stick every once in a while, but but that gives you a pretty wide footprint. Uh, you can also even go down even further and make this a little tall and actually use it for a camera. Um, let me just show you one thing. Why this tripod works so well. This tripod actually comes with this ball head. There's the adapter from Radioactive Antennas. Like I said, it's really, really nice quality. It's it's a it's chunky. It's not super lightweight, but it's it's nice. But this tripod comes with a really nice ball head and a quick release plate. So. It's actually a really nice antenna, you, or a really nice tripod. You could definitely use it for a little camera as well, so it serves, you know, double duty. But it's so nice that you can just unscrew that ball head, mount the radioactive, radioactive antenna big stick adapter to it, and you've got a nice little setup. Now, I probably wouldn't want to backpack with this because it is, this is kind of chunky along with the whip, but for portable car operations for a 20 meter and up antenna, so 20, 10, etc., this might be pretty nice. So I, I was going to try tuning some of the other bands and see what lengths the antenna was, um, but obviously it started pouring, so I'm not out there, but... Yeah, I like this, and I think this is going to be the portable antenna I use when we go on vacation. Um, if I just need 20 meters, if I need something else, if I need 40 or 80, obviously I'm going to have to go to an NFED or a link dipole or something like that and a mast. But uh, this is a good option. Now, I know people are going to say, well, you could get a coil for this. Um, but... And you can, and a coil will tune this for 40 meters. You can get the shorty 40 and it'll tune this antenna for 40 meters. But I operate QRP and that just really makes the antenna inefficient in my opinion. Too inefficient for QRP to work properly. So uh, I don't plan on using a coil. I might try it uh, just to see. Uh, maybe for 40, but I, I think it's, it's just going to be too short and it's just not going to be very effective and I'm not going to be happy. So, because um, I've tried the Wolf River coil before and I tried using it on 40 and 80. Now that was with a smaller whip and I just wasn't happy. Uh, the reason I didn't go with the Wolf River tripod is because you have to screw the legs in. Uh, you also have to screw on your radiating wires with you know eyelets and 
the coax connects up, under, up underneath it, and it's SO239. There's no option for BNC. Yeah, you can put an adapter on it and everything else, but I just wasn't happy with that solution. A bunch of loose parts. This is the same thing as the Wolf River tripod, basically, in one piece. And I can plug in my connectors with the BNC, with the, uh, the banana plugs. Now I know, I think it's uh, Res Antenna is, makes an adapter for the Wolf River Coil tripod that will let you plug, use banana plugs. And if you already have that antenna, that's great, use that. But otherwise, I think this is the way to go. Hey, that's just a short video. This is Tango Oscar Mike saying 73. Take care. Tango Oscar Mike.